this week on Last Dance, Last Chance. I can't wait to see them when they get to high school. Just watching, this is the future. I'm Lindy Davis. I'm team mom for the seventh grade Muskogee Ruffers. I am number 87's mom, Baxter Davis, and Baxter is a fierce competitor. He loves competition. Uh, he loves to put in extra work. He worked so hard all summer, um, and you know, it's paying off now. It's exciting to watch. Man, I love these boys. I love watching them play. I think that all of the hard work that they put in before this season even started, um, when we were playing seven on seven together in the spring, passing league this summer, and then being able to come out in July in the best shape we've ever been in, um, you know, with more reps that we've ever put in, uh, it just, it's all coming together. And it's exciting to see they really become students of the game this year. and. Um, every week it's paying off. Well, I was pretty pretty nervous about them. They are a well-coached team, uh, a lot of good athletes. Uh, they, they picked us off last year, and so I've kind of been uh, the whole, uh, I guess, seven weeks of football I've been uh, preparing for them. Oh, why so red, man? They are one of the powerhouses in our grade, man. They are uh, a very well-coached team, man. BJ and those guys, man, they really do a good job with those kids, man. And they're one of those teams that you have to be prepared for when you face them because it can go uh, either way. They And they, they taught me that last year. Every time we see those guys, though, it's always a dog fight, and we actually enjoy and play, enjoy and playing those guys. Uh, this week, man, I kind of been telling the kids, I've been, you know, just prepping them, prep, preparing them mentally just for the dog fight, man, because it's always gonna be a dog fight. I'm just trying to make sure that they, um, they that they stay sharp uh, as far as plays go, as far as defense guys uh, goes. Coach Davis, he's he's doing a good job of uh, preparing them for this game, and and you know we just kind of uh, been hard at it, just. Um, just uh, practicing really hard, trying to get prepared for these guys because we know it's going to be a dog fight. What are y'all doing? You're doubling. All right. All right. We're going and I'm right coming. here. Right. Yep. You coming right here? You going to fill off linebackers? Fill off linebackers? Our team, our team is a good team. They are, they've been together since second grade, so they're a real good team. They're strong. <laughs> We made a lot of mistakes during practice last week, and those same mistakes manifested in the game, if that makes sense. They, they, a, a lot of the offsides that we had, a lot of the being out of position and um, um, what was it? Uh, I think we fumbled the ball a few times and we dropped some touchdown passes. And uh, that's reflective of what I saw in the practice leading up to that game, honestly. He's looking to his right. And he's got He's going deep. He's, he's got the fumble. He's fumbled by 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. And that'll be an offside on the defense. Johnson takes the shot and my hero got to his left. He's looking at the receiver. I caught that in the end zone. I came down with it, but they stripped it when I hit the ground. That made me feel peed off. When I get the ball, I'm chucking every who get in front of me. Um, it was fit to be a dog fight, and we can't give up. Then when we realized that, we start. Start fourth quarter, we start working hard, not giving up.
watching the boys no matter what, but I mean, my boy can't watch. <laughs> Snap. He takes the hand off. He rolls out to his right. He hits his man in the clock and he turns off field. He gets a couple more yards, makes a couple men miss. And we will trade it back to number 11, KJ Percy. Matthew Colazzo takes the shotgun snap. He's going up the middle and he is stopped at the line of scrimmage. What a play made by number 20. Sends 11 in the shotgun formation, and he throws that to his left. He hits on the 15. He throws a stiff on the knee. kicker and um, it ended up blocking that field goal attempt for them to go up in the game and Baxter ran that back I mean you should have heard me screaming because it, it's a little obnoxious but I mean why not right <laughs> so that was definitely really exciting and I think that the coolest part about it was uh, in the game film watching Baxter run down the field Contrell right next to him I'm letting him know he was clear to keep going and all of his boys running behind. I've got goosebumps right now just thinking about it because it really is a brotherhood. These boys have been playing together for years and um, they're here for each other. And um, I think that was, that was one of the coolest parts that we both shared was that um, they were all right there with him, running right behind him, not letting their foot off the gas either um, to celebrate with him. So. I was just thinking uh, that we really got to block this so we can win this thing because I really didn't want to lose to him again. And uh, when Rudy drove him back into the kick, everybody started going crazy and it was amazing feeling running back and running back with the team knowing we ran it in together. What we think about the team, guys, at any given time, bro, they can make something happen. They threw two passes that could have cost us touchdowns. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. We don't want that. What the? We don't want that. Because we got defense good enough not to give up any points. So we don't want to give up none, right? Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Second throw, third group. You got to be paying attention and ready to uh, execute when you get in, man. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. We got to stay sharp. I don't care who we're facing. It doesn't matter. We put our foot on their neck. And we keep it there. We got Broken Arrow next week. Um, I haven't seen too much on them, uh, but I don't, I don't, I don't take any team lightly. We're gonna get these boys together. Um, 
we we gonna go out here and do what we know we can do and play how I know we can play. Uh, my whole thing this week and here on out is just really execution. We gotta win the plays. We're going out here to try to win every play. If we can execute and win every play, we can win the game. I'm not trying to underestimate anyway. So, broken arrow, you're on the chopping block, baby.